Bonnie. Happy Saturday. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is like Christmas in May. I said that in my earlier video, but it really is. There's so much good stuff going on at Bath & Body Works. And today I'm going to talk about the brand new Denim & Daisies, which I was not all that excited for based on the name. Now I'm excited for it. <laughs> I gotta tell you why. So I did go to Bath & Body Works this morning. As you saw, um, if you watched my previous video, my haul, um, it, it feels like a very transitional time now. I feel like Bath & Body Works did this buy to get to candle sale because they want to clear out Valentine's Day, Tropical, and Mother's Day. So that's really what they were pushing in the floor sets for candles, I felt, which makes sense. Um, so candles today, with the buy to get to, you're going to get them for $12.25. If you have that 20% off coupon, it's going to bring them down to like candle day sale prices. So that's why there are so many people there today. <laughs> um, I might place another order tomorrow, depending on if any more new candles show up. I still need to get that um, the tie-dye collection and a couple more like the surf shop. Uh, so I will be reviewing all the collections. I'm glad I got a few of the luminaries and the um, that summer collection today. So body care. I was able to get my hands on a lot of the body care uh, last week, which was exciting. Floor set will be set up Sunday night, like Monday morning, we should see summer. And then um, online, they did launch a ton of summer stuff online for the body care. Unfortunately, we don't have all the pieces in all the collections. So I'm starting to do like first impressions and then I'll review, I'll review like the entire collection. Denim and Daisies is pretty light online. They only currently have the body cream, which I thought was interesting. It's in a collection that includes the Bonfire Bash. Oh my gosh, this is so good, you guys. I literally cannot stop smelling this one and the Firecracker Pop, which is equally good. This collection is fabulous. <laughs> so let me, hold, let me hold them all up. I gotta show you how pretty they are together. It's such a beautiful summer collection with the red, white, and blue. Look at this. Look at this collection, how gorgeous it is. Super pretty. Um, so when I had first heard the name Denim and Daisies, I wasn't like, overly excited because I'm like, is it going to be a floral? Is it going to be like a fresh? I wasn't sure what it was going to be. Um, although the denim kind of intrigued me. <laughs> I have to laugh. Um, I am such a denim girl. Like, I don't know if it's my age or just my personality, but I only wear jeans. <laughs> and I've been working at home for like the past, what, like 14 years. So um, I don't need to buy actual like work clothes so it's like jeans and t-shirt jeans and t-shirt so i just have a huge collection of jeans and t-shirts i mean back in the 80s you know jordash calvin klein all the you know you always had designer jeans now i just i just wear lee riders that's like my jean of choice now but i, I i'm going for comfort but um i had a jean jacket i was i was I was like that that guy in Seinfeld. Remember when Elaine was dating the guy that only wore denim? <laughs> How embarrassing. And it's funny because my daughter doesn't like denim at all. She hates jeans. Um, and she's just kind of like, I can't believe you wear jeans every day, Mom. <laughs> like, no, seriously. We all wore jeans every day. So we had bell bottoms, we had flares, we had, you know, I've been through all the jeans. So I'm getting off track on my jeans story. <laughs> So anyway, when I saw the denim, I'm like, what does denim smell like? Like Bath & Body Works, what are you trying to do? Um, the scent notes in this one are sweet daisies, sun-washed denim, and summer citrus. It says, ready, set, summer, enjoy the warmth of carefree days wandering through fields of sun-drenched flowers. So that's kind of conjuring up this image of like putting your 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 most comfortable pair of jeans on and, and running through the daisies. I don't know. So I looked up daisy because I'm like, what does a daisy smell like? I'm like, I don't even know. So they basically said, which I kind of thought, that daisies really don't have an a scent. It's more for conjuring up an image. Um, they said they do have a subtle herbaceous green, maybe cheerful earthy scent. Um, I saw one website that said they mildly smell like cow manure. <laughs> like, I don't really think that 
that's true. I think maybe the cow is just in the daisy field. I don't know. I grew up uh, riding horses, and I don't I don't remember going into a field and like thinking the daisy smelled like cow manure. So I don't know about that one. But um, they definitely have like um, you know, more of a just you know like a a a country farm feel. So I'm like, okay, we got the imagery going here, and I'm thinking I'm probably not gonna like this one. I'm like, it's probably gonna be like a really strong floral. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so I get this one out and I'm like, this is fabulous. It's it's like something I've smelled, but I cannot put my finger on it. I literally spent like two hours last night trying to figure out which scent this reminded me of. And I really can't put my finger on it. So what it smells like is... It's almost, okay, so picture laundry day, but take out all of the fresh and just leave like a very subtle, like light, fresh laundry scent. It doesn't smell like laundry detergent. It's not strong. There's no eucalyptus. I don't get any lavender. I just get a very little bit of light laundry freshness. And then I also get this like interesting like creamy scent. I don't really want to say vanilla because I'm not 100% sure, but it could be like maybe like 5% vanilla. There's something creamy in this scent. Um, and it's funny because when you, when you read the scent notes, it says summer citrus. I don't know. I'm not getting like a lot of citrus unless it's maybe like a very faint like Mayer lemon maybe. It's not a tart smell. It's not a, like a, a citrusy smell. It's not sugary at all, but it's a little bit sweet, but it's not sugary. It's like, um, it's almost like a fresh sweet, if that makes sense. And the daisy, I think is just there as an imagery thing. I really do. Um, I'm not really getting like a floral out of this. But it's very unique. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That's my point. I feel like this would be like a really nice, like casual daytime scent that's not going to like attract bees if you're out. <laughs> you know, sometimes you worry about putting too much floral or like sweetness on if you're in like a park, you know, and you're going to get chased by bees. <laughs> but I, I don't get the, you know, I don't feel like this is like an overpowering scent. It's fairly on the light side, um, and I just have the cream. So it's, it's hard to do a review just on the cream. I'm going to get the whole collection because I'm intrigued by it. <laughs> I can't wait to get the shower gel. I really like it, though. There's something so appealing about it. It's almost like I kind of do get that image. Like if you took a, a pair of jeans and you wash them in a very like light, um, fragranced, uh, like laundry detergent and then maybe hung them outside for a little bit and then they dried and you added in like a little bit of maybe like sweet mayor lemon, just a touch and a little bit of like maybe a hint of floral, like dry woodsy floral, earthy. That's what this is. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. I love it though. <laughs> and it's a little creamy. <laughs> it's not edgy. It's not like harsh on any of the edges. It's very soft. <laughs> But it's not baby powder soft. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I got for you guys. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this one? I need help, you guys. I need someone else to smell this one for me. I can't wait to get the entire collection. But honestly, like, I am so blown away. All three of these scents, the Bonfire Bash, the Firecracker Pop, and the Denim and Daisies, out of this world, you guys. You got to pick up all three. Seriously, try them all. See what you think. I will be doing, like I said, um, a more uh, in-depth review once I get all of these and I start wearing them a little more. So anyway, thank you as always for watching. Hit the subscribe button. I may be back later with another uh, candle review or something. I don't know. That grapefruit uh, frosé that I can't even pronounce is on my list. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.